this time. Oh, this is the. Oh, this is so bad. I don't have any oil. No, 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 no. Is he behind me? Oh my god, I'm not gonna look back. No, no. Hey cat, and welcome back to Amnesia. So, I'm not gonna spend too much on the intro, I don't really know too much about this, but this is the first little custom story I'm gonna try. This one is called This is Emma, and we actually play as a, a female character in this one. That's pretty much all I know about it. I've just fiddled around with some audio settings and things like that, so we should be all good. This is obviously episode one, so what do you say? Let's just start. Good of you to come. This time it will be a trial of character. Okay. Bear in mind, death is final. Nothing will be saved. Oh god, I wasn't... Oh no, this is gonna have real life consequences. I, I wasn't prepared for that. Come on, wake up. You need to get going. Oh no, what did I get myself into? <laughs> Tommy boy, let's go. Start a new game. Amnesia. Don't, Justine, that's just... Apparently I need to open this game in a special way. Otherwise some of the visuals for like... This is like a custom story, which is like basically a mod for the game. And if I don't open the game in this special kind of settings, it won't have the right textures. So hopefully everything should work fine, because I have not tested this more than to see if the audio works. Uh, yes, we are female in this one. Oh, God, he's ugly. I'm starting to question this decision already. Very rare circumstance. I can't move while my parents left. My dad still plays football with his co workers. Okay, we're good. We can move. Locked firmly. That's a new message. It's never said that before. Elder grab this comfy bed and everything. Yeah, my, my dad plays football with everybody. Like a lot of people from the congregation and other congregations. And they have some kind of. of like dinner thing once a year so they at that so yeah I have the place all to myself and look at this this worked out so well normally I try really hard to get things stuck in there I just open the window threw it right up close the thing genius super lazy and one of the best ones I've done so far to be honest with you and I have a bit of lamp so hopefully the webcam will work nicely okay let's mm, come on spin I know how these mechanics works spin Let's, let's try. Bienvenue. Mm. You are now listening to the sound of my disembodied voice. It will mm -hmm. serve you no purpose to look for me, for this is a voice from the past. Sure. I bid you welcome to my cabinet of perturbation. Mm. It is my study of the human psyche, specifically okay. yours. A set oh. of recordings have been prepared to chaperone you through mm. the chambers ahead. That's nice, thank you. There are a few parts to this study, and it is up to you. Not only to pass, mm -hmm. but to figure out what elements are important. Oh. Please go on. Move into the next chamber. Just remember, they can all be safe. There is always a way. Oh, this already sounds way more complicated than the original game. Oh, my lantern. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Oh, what I broke the lock. That was so cool. Are we, are we really sure we want to go out here to that monster? I mean, I already have my bed and I have you. I mean, okay, you're not the best company, but still, is it really that bad in here? <laughs> oh. oh, I have no oil. My lantern doesn't even work. Mm. Oh 
what is this? This is... Oh my god, that scream. Nothing this way. What is... What is that? It's just a walk. Stop. Stop it. Oh, I forgot how horrible this game can be already. Yeah. <gasps> stop. For real, stop. Stop. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I... Did I just pick up a whole broken ladder? Oh, this is so much worse because people people are the worst. People are for real the worst. So they are, are gonna try and get the living bejesus out of me in so many horrible ways. Because people just love being terrible monsters. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, this doesn't look bad. No, this is... Okay, this is fine. I don't know where to go. So... Let's just start from one end. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, I, I, I really have no... I have a lantern. I have nothing. I have nothing. Oh my god, he's right there! What the... Oh, he's right there! What do I do? Oh my god, he was just... He was just right there! Mm -hmm. I hate this so much already! Oh, I feel like he's right outside! Oh, a note, a note. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. No. Oh my god, this is like my worst nightmare already. This is horrible. Okay, just breathe. Um, a new plan. The 22nd April 1858. Is that French? You have to let me know, you know French. I feel like that's French from the like little salute she gave at the beginning of the first play thing. Okay. Salutation, Inspector Merard of the Sword National. As you well know, the chief of police in Calais has turned down my request to pursue Justine Flaubert for stealing my son away. Ever since, that says Justine too. Hmm, maybe the intro has something to do with it. Like, anyway, okay, never mind. Ever since the affair started, Alois, my son, please let me know if I'm pronouncing all these possibly French names wrong, which I probably am, I don't know how to say them. <clears throat> my son has forsaken his duties to his family and failed to pursue his career. Since the law seemed unable to find a crime within the realm of Mademoiselle Justine's actions, I will ask you to receive Dr. Victor Fournier later this week. He is a respectable <sighs> alien Easter and expert in the human psyche, and he believes he may have found a legal way to incarcerate her. If he is able to diagnose her as an hysteric, it would provide you an ample excuse to have her locked up. I trust you and your agency will not turn us down. Cordial, cordialment Lucian was seen. Okay, I don't quite know what to make of that, but there's something in the works. Oh my god, I am... Whoever you are, if you could help me, I would be much obliged. Yes. Help me! Please, help me! Okay, this is locked. So I need to help him. Okay, and then there's a bell. Okay, the monster's gone for now. Okay, so there's a guy locked up in there. These sounds... Ah, the worst. Okay, so nothing in here. I'm 
so... Seeing that monster right off the bat spooked me so much and I'm just like terrified of proceeding now. I was like walking around, okay this is fine, maybe it'll start off easy and like... Oh, I hate these sounds. Forgive me. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Villa... Oh, 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 yeah, never mind. Justine, my love, I know I am not talented as Mallow or as strong as Basil, but I am certain my love is truer. Do not my scars tell you so. I will continue to cut myself as long as it pleases you. Oh no, please don't. I would even kill Basil if you wish. I know you say you like it, but he is hurting you. I will trick him to consume the bromide. Poor Justine, I will help. Just ask me to help. Eloise, oh no, that's the sun. Eloise was the sun. Oh, that sounds so bad. Oh, there's a lever there. I didn't see that before. It did say there was a way to help me one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not too late to set things right. Yeah, yeah, let me let me just pull this. Oh, that's gonna kill him! Oh! Okay, let me... Okay, let me... My god, that sound... It will... That's... Oh, that's very clearly budging, dude. Where is the monster, though? Where is the monster? Okay, close to find me. <laughs> Why? Why am I doing this to myself? <sighs> no, this is the worst. This is the worst. I'm hating this so much. <gasps> oh, it's just a potion thing that will regen my life. I feel like there's something up there. That feels like a very obvious place to put something. Okay, let me in here too. Where is this? A potion. Okay. And a violin. These sounds, I'm telling you, they're freaking me out. Is this the potion? I broke I broke it. Good job, Thomas. Good job. I don't see any other way. Do I really have to kill him? I don't feel like... Anyone there? Yeah, I am. Please, stop talking to me. Okay, let me see. Can I find a rock? If I can... Maybe I can smash the lock. I don't... I really don't want to walk around here for too long. Okay, I can't pick any of these up. I know I can pick the crates up, but I feel like they wouldn't be strong enough to break it. Oh, I can't read that. Mm. This is having some very difficult puzzle aspects to it already. If I am, how did you escape? Allowed to like knock that thing off? Should I just, should I just kill him? Hmm. Okay. It's starting to feel like the monster isn't coming back. I've been here a long time now, haven't I? But I am not, I am not going back in there to look for him. Can I pick you up? Oh, this is just fun. Okay, fine. I'm gonna try with a box. A bell. A bell will do. And if I cannot break the lock with a bell... Okay, so... I'm very certain this wasn't called something with Justine. No, dude, I can't help you. I tried, I tried, okay? Why is this to do with Justine? I thought... 
Oh. Am I the one called Emma? I think I might be Emma. Yeah. How did you escape? Is it moving closer to him? Okay, so I have to pull it down. Stairs jump down from out of nowhere. The first thing did say I would be able to. Do I have a save option? Oh, you got to be kidding me! I can't even exit the game. I'm gonna have to start all over. What? Okay, well, I guess. I guess we're doing this in one sitting then. Oh my god, just thinking about that. Gives me like goosebumps all over. Hmm. Oh, this is the. Oh, this is so bad. I don't have any oil. No, 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 no. Is he behind me? Oh my god, I'm not gonna look back. No, no. Oh, I hate this. Ah. Okay, go, 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 go. I can't even run. Come on, girl, go! Oh my god, I hate this so much. Why, why am I doing this? Why? There's no cylinder. Oh, I thought this would be a nice quiet time where I could just listen to this crazy lady. I think. Justine is the one playing on the tapes. And we are called Emma. So we have blood here. Leading to that place. That feels bad. This won't open, right? Yeah. So blood room. Oh, down there. I feel like going down is bad too. I'm gonna crouch everywhere because I'm terrified. Okay. Surprisingly pleasant for a torture room, I'll be honest. Mm. Okay, those are quite horrifying. Some poison. A lot of tools. A note. A note. Okay, thank you. Newspaper article 19 March 1858. Travis D at the conservatory. Many Parisians. So they are from Paris, ha 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 ha. Had gathered last night to enjoy the performance of violin virtuoso Melo de Bigny. It was to be the grand premiere of several new arrangements of songs by fellow composer George Bizet. But the evening took an unexpected turn. Young Melo de Vigny turned up visibly intoxicated. His violin cried as the bow was jerked across the strings. The audience seemed forgiving at first, but started to boo the man off stage as he def defaced the beloved song that rose it. <sighs> Le Belle. You have to excuse me for like butchering all these words. I, I have no idea how to say French names. The stress apparently got the best of the young musician as he threw his bow, his bow into the audience and finally collapsed. Mademoiselle Justine Flabel, oh there she is, who is the who is according to rumors romantically involved with with Monsieur de Vigny, looked quite amused by the event and had two of her friends, Basil Dioux and Alois Regime, carrying him off stage. Who is this girl? This is the third guy she's involved with. Yeah. Yeah, we have Mello, Basil and Alois now. The evening was saved by the other musicians at the conservatory who were able to perform a most delightful impromptu concerto in Mel de Vigny's absence. The audience showed their savior with praise and calls for in for encore were awarded with particular pieces by both Offenbach and Chapin. Wow. Whew. 
Man, this has been quite a first episode. I am absolutely terrified already and I hate this <laughs> so much. But apparently she was involved with a lot of guys. Okay, so I think this is where we leave the first episode. I really hope you enjoyed it because I most certainly did not. Not even a little bit. So yeah, as always, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this episode. Like the video if you liked it. Take care, cat. I'll see you soon. Bye! Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this again.